Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the new iOS 16 lock screen. Now we have done videos with hidden features of iOS 16, but there are actually some really nice hidden features that are exclusive to the new lock screen on iOS 16. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 of those that I believe are pretty cool and of course iOS 16 users must know. Now before I get into the first hidden feature, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you have been watching and enjoying my videos and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so as it really helps the channel a lot. And of course, I would really appreciate if you could take the time and hit that subscribe button. And we're starting with the first one. Now when you go to your lock screen on iOS 16, you can actually change the picture of the lock screen, the wallpaper without having to add a new lock screen. Now, most of the times when you just want to change the lock screen wallpaper or the home screen wallpaper, we would just go and create a new one, but that actually is not necessary. You can just go ahead and change the picture only without having to change the complete lock screen. Now, just like for a fun fact, you can have up to 200 different lock screens on iOS 16. Once you have reached 200, you will have to delete one in order to create a new one. So to change the wallpaper and not the entire lock screen, you go to customize, choose the lock screen, and just right here you can tap, and it will take you to your photo library. And from here you can just pick a new wallpaper and just like that, change the wallpaper on your lock screen without actually having to add a new lock screen. Now here's another really nice feature that you should know that you probably have seen every time you have gone to your lock screens but maybe didn't notice it. You can see right there at the top it says photo. That means that you have created this lock screen using photos from your photo library. But if we go here you can see now it says collections. That means that we have taken basically chosen that wallpaper from the collections of wallpapers that iOS 16 has. So every lock screen you create, it will show you right there at the top from where you have gotten that wallpaper. Now the wallpapers on iOS 16 also have different effects you can apply to them. Now not every single wallpaper that you add will have the same effects. Basically iOS will choose determine which effects to add to which wallpaper. But if you go to customize to your current lock screen, you can actually swipe like this. You can see it says natural here and you can go to black and white or add these like dual tones right here, color wash. You can see how cool these look and of course make the lock screen look way, way different. And if you just go to another wallpaper here, you will notice that you will basically not have any like filters at all because this is a wallpaper from the collection. So as I said, different wallpapers will have like different effects that you can add to them and they will display right here. Now with the widgets on iOS 16's lock screen, you can add them of course from the widget panel here. You tap anywhere and just will add them on a row like this. But if you just want to grab a widget and place it anywhere you want without having to after rearrange them, you can just drag the widget from here and just choose wherever you want to place it. So you can see if I just tap here, it adds it at the end. But if I just want to place it on like a certain place, I can just go ahead and drag it just like that. Now iOS 16 has this really cool feature that allows you to create your own wallpapers using emojis. Now if you go here to create an emoji wallpaper, you will have a bunch of different features. You can see right here, you can add like different emojis. So let's just choose a few of them. And once you have created this, you can now actually swipe here to switch between different layouts of emojis. You can see just like that, you will have some pretty cool layouts. This one is pretty cool. This one as well. Now what you can do actually here is also edit this wallpaper. Now once I have created this, I have added two different emojis and you can see it has that gray background by default. But if you tap here, you can choose background and this feature will now let you choose what you want to have on the background, which color you want to have on the background of emojis and you can even tap here to actually pick any color you want. So if I just want to pick the color of the, that, that globe, I can do it just like that. And of course, add that as the background of this wallpaper and you can see it looks much, much better now. So just tap here and choose whatever color you want for the background of the emoji wallpapers. Of course, a really cool new feature of the new iOS 16's lock screen is the ability to change the color of the clock 
and the date right there. But did you know that when you go to pick a color, like let's go from here, we have different colors. You can of course go here and pick from more colors. Now, if you use a color that you like from here or just pick a color using the color picker, you can actually tap the plus button and it will add that color here. So you'd have that now saved. So if I just add a new color, you can see I have it tab done right there. I can go back. Now I will have that color that I've saved right there. So anytime I want to reuse that, just tab there. And here we have the color we just saved. And we can actually just use that just like that anytime we want without having to actually struggle to find the color we need every time we want to add it to a wallpaper. So just like that, to tap the plus button, you have your color saved. With the new widgets on iOS 16, you can of course have a lot of different things on the lock screen. What I like about the new lock screen is that you can have a second time, maybe for a different time zone, and you can actually have it right there at the top on the inline widgets. So you tap on customize, tap right there at the top. And when you go to clock here, you tap right there and then you tap here and you can just basically choose any city in the world you want. So all you have to do is just choose the city from here, search it or just choo choose it manually and you will have a second clock on the lock screen of your iOS 16 device. iOS 16 will also let you create your own wallpapers using colors. Now when you go to customize your lock screen, you tap the plus button and you go to colors. This is what you will see by default. So you can pick here any color you want and this is what you see but you can see right here it says bright so if you swipe here you can actually choose a solid color if you don't want to have a gradient you can just choose a solid color just like this you can see how cool that looks you can of course switch to bright here to vapor and deep and toned and also vibrant so you will have these kind of like really nice looking gradients that you can add with only one color to your lock screen you can see how cool that looks you can actually have these awesome wallpapers simply by creating a colored wallpaper on ios 16 this is really really nice again just swipe like this and you will get different effects on those colors making your lock screen look really 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 nice and if you have created a colored wallpaper on your iOS 16's lock screen, you don't need to actually create a second one if you just want to change the color. You simply tap on customize, tap here and just tap on the color. And then from here, you can go ahead and pick any color you want or tap here, choose any of the colors you have saved or any other colors you want. And just like that, you can create these amazing wallpapers. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the cool new features on the iOS 16 lock screen. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like as it helps out a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 16 videos and I will see you on the next one.